Welcome to Global Ocean TV, brought to you by the Terramar Project. I am today's host, Rob Foose. Here are the headlines. Blue washing is the new green washing. On June 29th, Adidas used the United Nations in New York City for an official product launch in the UN General Assembly Hall, a sneaker made from recycled ocean plastic. The launch was part of the Oceans Climate and Life Summit. Shark Week from the Eyes of a Wildlife Filmmaker In this excerpt from Chris Palmer's book, Confessions of a Wildlife Filmmaker, he addresses Discovery's Shark Week programming, writing, Shark Week is habitually dominated by footage of bloody feeding frenzies and scary shark attacks. Over the years, typical titles of Shark Week programs have included Teeth of Death, The Worst Shark Attack Ever, Perfect Predators, Top 5 Eaten Alive, and Ocean of Fear. These shows might garner high ratings and attract advertiser dollars, but they mislead audiences, exploit animals, and fail to promote conservation. Like Shark Week? It's time to spread the love. When Shark Week debuted in 1988, sharks, despite their inherent vulnerability to overfishing, were essentially unprotected worldwide, and the only good shark is a dead shark was a popular maxim. Since then, we've seen a surge of conservation measures for these apex species across the globe, and Shark Week programming appears to be changing for the better, with greater focus on real scientists and lesser-known species. While specials dedicated to thorny skates or dusky smoothhounds are likely years away, it's great to see the opportunities to spread the love and fascination for sharks to the scores of related species that also need public admiration and attention. Trans-Pacific Yacht Race to Collect Data for Ocean Cleanup After a disappointing run into a telephone pole in the middle of the Pacific Ocean two years ago in the Trans-Pacific Yacht Race, John Sangmeister has a new boat and a new crew to try to win the 2015 Transpac that will start in Long Beach next weekend. While they sail against the other 65 boats in their class, the entire fleet will be part of the new Mega Expedition as part of the environmental campaigning organization called the Ocean Cleanup, led by Boy and Slot. Heat is being stored beneath the ocean surface. Nearly all of the measurable indicators of global climate change, such as sea level, ice cover on land and sea, and atmospheric carbon dioxide concentrations, show a world changing on short, medium, and long timescales. But for the better part of a decade, global surface temperatures appeared to have leveled off, which some scientists, the media and climate contrarians, began referring to as the hiatus. Now, a new analysis by scientists at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory not only confirms that the extra heat has been going into the ocean, but it shows where. The warming did not occur at the surface, but showed up below 10 meters in depth, and mostly between 100 to 300 meters below the sea surface. Puffers. In this episode of Weird Fins, all about strange stuff in the sea, brought to you by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, we learn about pufferfish, one of the most poisonous animals on Earth. Check out these stories in the Daily Catch, and tune back in Monday for the best ocean, river, and lake news from around the world. Thank you. Did you enjoy this broadcast from Global Ocean TV? Stay up to date with the latest ocean, river, and lake news by subscribing to our YouTube channel.